Why did you become a hacker? I don't really know what it means to become a hacker. That's basically some random person in a hoodie who stays up all night writing coding, trying to crack people's passwords. That's not me. I just talk people and see what they're into and what makes them click. I don't think that's a bad job. After its success in 2018, Startup Line Investments has just been listed on the Namibian Stock Exchange. So you see this as a job? Well, I put a lot of work into this. You can't be lazy. It takes time to research everything you need to know, like figuring out who the key players are, get to know them, their families, friends, who and what they care about. You need to understand the company's organizational structure. I get most of my information on the company's website. If that doesn't help, I go straight to the sales department. They are always so excited and willing to help. They are hungry for sales. Problem is, people are too trusting. They don't pay attention to details, but I do. Details matter and that is what I am good at. The aim is to make it completely believable and it must look familiar. That is why research is important. It's not just some generic piece of spam, it's an email from their boss with a company signature. The email is drafted in the voice of their boss. It's exactly what he would or she would say if they were writing it. What tools do you use to get in? Someone out there already wrote all the code that doesn't actually attack. My job is just to use it in the attachment. My skills lie in the ability to get people to click and open that attachment. I always wondered what it would be like when the whole thing unfolds on their end and the panic sets it. Hi Joseph, Agnes here in sales. Our invoicing and quotation systems are not working. We're getting calls from customers saying they are weird numbers appearing on them. Can you give me a call when you get this? Hi Theophilus, are you on your way back to the office? Something is going on with the file server. Apparently there's a malware hack targeting our main server. Just pay the rent. We don't have a choice. We're losing thousands every minute we are down. Customers are starting to notice. Just pay it. Put every single person on getting us up and running again. That is a priority now. Okay, it's done. We have a huge problem. The ransomware was just a distraction. They've got in. They have all our data, customer personal information, our financials, everything. Line Investments is spinning from the news that hackers have released all personal information of hundreds of clients. Fabo continues at the Line Investment today as the company has filed for bankruptcy. CEO Pete Trumpy is sitting down after what seems to be turning out to be one of the worst breaches of personal information in recent history. Do you feel bad about releasing the confidential and personal information of all the financials, all the people that lost their jobs, their families? Well, all I did was get the files. I was not the one who decided to release them. Someone else had their reasons for that, and that is above my pay grade. I was paid to do a job and I did it well. Isn't that what is expected of everyone?